one of these birth beeswax or chapstick in your pocket or in your purse, especially during the winter months. I did a reality check yesterday. I went to the store and bought this. I don't plan on opening it, but $2.50 around how much I paid for this. Regular chapstick was $1.99. What if I told you you can make one of these for 20 cents? Especially during the winter months. And if you allow me to read the back of this, it says, our signature lip balm formulated with beeswax to naturally help protect lip, antioxidant vitamin E to moisturize, and peppermint oil to soothe. That's what I used in mine. First, I'm gonna go over the ingredients and what you need. Now, most of these ingredients were kind of hard for me to find. I went online and ordered them all from one company so I could get it all together. So, first you need two ounces of beeswax. I use white beeswax because it's silkier, they say. It melts easier and it blends well with other ingredients. Yellow, not so much. White is refined, yellow is unrefined. So you might get a little bit of the graininess. Shea butter. It doesn't have any smell, like um, cocoa butter. Like most people don't like the chocolatey smell. It really has no smell. And it's very nice in the skin. Coconut oil. I bought this at Walmart in the oil section. So if you have trouble finding it. And for me, I can't stand the smell of coconut. This has no smell. Which I opened it and I was like, okay, great, smell so. It doesn't have any smell. And it lasts a long time. And it's very good for cooking with. It reduces your cholesterol, according to Dr. Oz. <laughs> you know, everyone knows who that is. It reduces your cholesterol. It, it boosts your immune system. It's really great a moisturizer. Some people use just this as a moisturizer as lotion. So this is great stuff. And then, of course, I bought this at Walmart too. Vitamin E oil in the vitamin section. You know. Or you can buy the capsules if you have them already at home. Just cut them open and squeeze them. And then I ordered this where I bought the shea butter and the beeswax. It's a peppermint. It's supposed to be flavoring, but I didn't really get much of the flavoring when I put it in there. But I just like the smell of peppermint. You can use different ones for however you like. Some people use rosemary. Some people use almond oil. Just different tastes. Next, I'll go over the supplies that you'll need. Most of them you should have at home. I had this digital scale already. So I don't remember how much it cost because I had it for a while. And this, I really don't like to put, because I used to put food in this, so you can put like a paper towel in here and you can push the on button and it's automatically zeroed. So you don't have to worry about the weight of a paper towel interfering with your ingredients. Two ounces of beeswax, like I said. You just measure it in here. You can do the shea butter also. You might want to use plastic for that because this is kind of oily and it might stick to your paper towel. Next you'll need is a medium sized pot, a glass measuring cup, and a medicine dropper. I ordered these online, they're really cheap, but any kind of dropper that you have to use for the oils. And an old spoon. Next, I'll go over the end. ways to make it. It's pretty quick. Um, you fill the pot halfway with water, put the glass measuring cup in the pot, bring the water to a boil, add the beeswax. You don't want to stir it too much because then it'll stick to your spoon and then you'll have it up the sides of the cup. <laughs> it doesn't mix completely. So just let it boil for a little bit, let it start to melt underneath, and then you can stir it. Let that come to a liquid, and then add the shea butter and the coconut oil. Don't want to bring it too much to a boil because you might burn your ingredients and then it would really taste nasty. Good. So, after that's done and it's all liquefied, carefully, I'm carefully <laughs> take the glass out of the pot. I used a towel. I grabbed it on each end and then grab each side of the pot to take it out so I didn't burn myself. After that, you can add your vitamin E oil, 
and your peppermint. I added about 15 drops of the peppermint oil and about 10 drops of the vitamin E oil. It's all up to you how much you want to add. Some people are allergic to these products. They, you can add different things for your own flare that you want. Um, some people like this color theirs. You can just shave off a little bit of your favorite lipstick and add it in there and come out the color that you like. And okay. Any questions? How many tubes in this? This was about 40. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is that all? How much did it cost for all of the ingredients? I think I spent. This was about five bucks. I think the beeswax and the cup and the shea butter was the most because I had to order a lot of it. But there's so many other ways you can use beeswax that I started researching, and it's baffling to me. Let me divide that by forty. It's um, it's, it's, well, I was just curious. Yeah, the actual. Right. It's pennies. Where did you get these pennies? The same, the same place that I got the beeswax and the yeah. I think they were about ten cents a pound. You get it in That's, what, That's what I haven't conquered yet. That's something I, you notice if you open one of them, it has the, the bevel, like it, it's not completely flat, like when you get it. I just kind of like, yeah, I haven't, it's, that's the tricky part. <laughs> the glass measuring cup, of course, has a spout on it, and I would just hold the tube up to the spout and hold it there. And then pour slowly. Maybe a funnel. Maybe a funnel, yeah. Like that aluminum funnel? After a while, your wax will start to dry in this cup. Like it'll start to harden. So then you can either put it in the microwave or put it, leave, you know, leave this to like kind of a simmering, the water, and then put it back in there and then stir it and let it melt again. Where did you get the tubes from? The same place I bought the paper wax and the, okay. the shea butter. It's really nice. I needed chapstick, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I have more. Maybe you want one for the, you know, for anybody else. I was in shock when I went to go buy Burton's Beeswax, and I never realized how much it costs. I was like, okay, I just need, you know. And I like this. I like Beeswax and Burton's Beeswax. But when I find out how much it costs me to make all of these, it, I mean, I don't think I'll ever... Go back. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's baffling to me how much they're making. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, start your own business. Start making some money. Right? That's what my husband said. He's like, you want to make your own labels? Oh, yeah.